book that the rate of flow of liquid the rate of flow of liquid to a pipe is equal to the product of area of cross section area of cross section of any portion of the pipe and the velocity of flow of liquid velocity of flow of liquid passing through portion we can draw a pipe of variable cross section in this case liquid flows into the pipe through the end y1 with a velocity v1 v1 is the velocity with which liquid flows into the pipe y1 y2 through the end y1 and a1 is the area of cross section of the end y1 a2 is the area of cross section of the end y2 liquid flows through the end y1 of the, of the pipe here we are denoting uh, the liquid which is flowing into the pipe through the end y1 having area of cross section y1 and from the other end y2 of the pipe liquid emerges with a velocity v2 liquid emerges with a velocity v2 from the end y2 of the pipe here v2 is the velocity with which liquid flows out of the pipe through the end y2 and here we are denoting the flow of liquid towards right through the end y2 now we can uh, denote a portion y1 y1 prime liquid travels a distance x1 from y1 to y1 prime or y1 dash at the point y1 t equals 0 that is initial instant and at the point y prime the time t is equal to t here at the end y1 we are considering the portion y1 y1 prime liquid travels a distance x1 from y1 to y1 prime in the tube or in the pipe we can denote this portion this portion has uh, the volume v here v is a volume of liquid of that portion v is the volume of liquid of this portion of length x1 v is the volume of liquid of that portion in which liquid flows for a distance x1 in time t from y1 to y1 prime v is the volume of liquid of this portion similarly we can denote a portion at the end uh, y2 here we uh, the portion is y2 prime y2 and liquid travels a distance x2 a distance x2 from y2 prime to y2 in time t second at the time at the end y2 prime time is 0 second and at the end y2 the time is t second and liquid we are denoting the liquid in this portion and v is the volume of liquid of this portion of length x2 and area of cross section y2 as a1 is greater than a2 area of cross section at the end y1 is greater than the area of cross section of the end y2 so we can say that x1 is less than x2 let v1 be the velocity with which an ideal liquid flows into a pipe of into a pipe y1 y2 of variable cross section variable cross section through the end y1 of area of cross section a2 area of cross section a1 if the liquid if the liquid travels a distance x1 in time t 
from the point y1 to y1 prime through the pipe from y1 to y1 prime through the pipe the volume of liquid the volume of liquid flowing through the volume of liquid the volume of liquid flowing through the pipe in the portion between y1 to y1 prime is v equal a1 into x1 volume is the product of area and length therefore the rate of flow of liquid at the end y1 of the pipe is given by v by t that is volume divided by time is equal to a1 x1 divided by t since v equal a1 x1 a1 is the area of cross section of the end y1 and we are considering the portion of length x1 and area of cross section a1 in this case volume of that portion will be a1 x1 that is equal to v we can write a1 under bracket x1 by t therefore v by t capital v by t is equal to a1 small v1 here small v1 is the velocity with which liquid flows into the pipe through the end y1 we get the expression of rate of flow of liquid that is volume of liquid flowing per second uh, through the end y1 of the pipe v by t equal a1 v1 which is the rate of flow of liquid through the pipe at the end y1 that is the volume v that is the volume of liquid that is the volume of liquid flowing per unit time or per second volume of liquid flowing per unit time so this is equation 1 that is v by t equal a1 v1 is the equation 1 similarly similarly if we consider the end y2 x2 is the distance travel by the liquid x2 is the distance travel by the liquid in the same interval of time t from y2 prime to y2 of the pipe with the velocity v2 and the volume of liquid volume of liquid flowing in that portion of length x2 of length x2 will be v equal a to x2 v equal a to x2 where a2 is the area of cross section of the end y2 of the pipe a2 is the area of cross section of the pipe at the end y2 x2 is the distance uh, through which the liquid travels and v is the volume of liquid of this portion therefore the rate of flow of liquid the rate of flow of liquid flowing away from the pipe through the end y2 through the end y2 is given by v by t is equal a2 x2 divided by t where the volume v is the product of area and length that is v equal a2 x2 equal a2 under bracket x2 by small t bracket closed in place of x2 by t we can write small v2 so finally we get v by t which is equal to a2 v2 v by t equal a2 dot v2 this is equation 2 this is equation 2 here v by t is the rate with which rate of flow of liquid with which it enters into the pipe v by t is the rate of flow of liquid that is volume of liquid flowing per second similarly we can denote same rate of flow of liquid that is v by t at the end y2 so v by t is the rate of flow of liquid with which liquid emerges from the pipe y1 y2 from equation 1 and 2 From equation 1 and 2, we can write v by t, which is equal to a1 v1, which is also equal to a2 v2. So, v by t has the two expression one is a1 v1 with respect to the end y1, 
another is a2 v2 with respect to the end y2 this is the rate of flow of liquid that is the volume of liquid flowing through the pipe per second or per unit time volume of liquid flowing per second through the pipe we can explain again so this is a pipe of variable cross section this end has greater area of cross section v1 is the volume with which liquid enters into the pipe and v by t is the rate of flow of liquid at this end similarly liquid emerges out with velocity v2 and a2 is the area of cross section of the other end and we can denote the rate of flow of liquid v by t is the rate of flow of liquid with which liquid emerges from the pipe and these two rates of flow of liquid will be same v by t here v by t is equal to a1 v1 with respect to the first end and a, which is also equal to a2 v2 with respect to the second end or other end so therefore we can say volume of liquid divided by time is equal to area of cross section of any portion of the pipe into velocity of flow of liquid volume divided by time which is equal to area into velocity which is rate of flow of liquid